We get over to Dave Absolutely. Nussbaum now. We're following some breaking news in, regarding Invest 92. Yes, uh, the National Hurricane Center has now indicated this potential tropical cyclone number two. This officially goes into effect at 10 o'clock, but I can show it to you right now. Excuse me, basically what they're waiting on here is for the system to develop itself is starting to get a little better circulation to this, but now they've issued a potential forecast likely becoming a tropical depression later today all the way through tomorrow morning. They becoming a tropical storm as we head into Thursday night around seven o'clock, maintaining a tropical storm status and becoming a category one hurricane, fairly strong one with 85 mile per hour winds Saturday morning at 7 a.m. just off our coastline with a possible landfall here. They're taking this over toward the west over part Parts of say Cameron Parish there near the, near the Lake Charles area. This would be right around say Saturday night in a Sunday midnight time frame with that landfall going in there. So Saturday night into Sunday morning. That's when the landfall would be as a category one hurricane and continuing on its track here toward the Shreveport area and eventually on into part of Texas weakening there. But this is the latest now a potential tropical cyclone. This is a new product issued a couple years ago by the National Hurricane Center. What this does it allows emergency management officials to get things going sooner than the storm has actually developed. Because if you wait till it develops, you may be running out of too much time, too little time to get the proper necessities done. The people out if they need to get out, the uh, a, a National Guard activated, and any kind of emergency money is needed to help get things going. This is what we're waiting for with this. So when they issue this, that immediately allows them to start acting. So here across South Louisiana, we now have this potential tropical cyclone. Notice New Orleans is not in the cone, but notice the cone gets very wide as we get on into just beyond Friday. Does stretch from New Orleans all the way back into Houston, Texas, and beyond. So we are looking at there again a fairly large uh, what could be a change in error with this. That's because the forecast models are spread out that much. The middle of the line with this which again you can't follow, but I just drew it on here to show you that it does take it over Cameron Parish heading into Lake Charles area up towards the Shreveport as a likely category one hurricane 85 miles per hour. That's a high end category one as we get into around 90 or so that's category two hurricane. So it's likely going to become a hurricane making landfall to the west. Now if it does take more of that westward track, that is fantastic news for us here in New Orleans. Basically what that means is the heaviest rains will be kind of more to the west. We will still get some heavier and it gets six to 12 inches of it, but we will see more of it kind of working its way here, maybe further to the western part of the state. Not good news for them, but it may be a little better news for us. However, you notice that cone. You can't just look at the middle line. We say this every year, and I know probably you're going, yeah, yeah, I know, but please, you have to look at the entire thing because the system has yet to develop. This will likely change over the course of the next couple of days here, so be sure to keep it tuned here. Our Facebook page, our Twitter sites, my pages, media meteorologist Dave Nussbaum. If you don't follow me there, please do so now. I post all kinds of great information and updates there and I'll continue to do so of course as well. Uh, but this is definitely what we're looking at. A potential tropical cyclone is what they're calling this and basically a potential tropical system and then cyclone is just a, another term to talk about low pressure. That's what cyclone means. So we are going to continue seeing this becoming a depression later today. Uh, by tonight it looks like maintaining a depression status through tomorrow morning. So when I talk to you in the morning show, we still have a tropical depression by the afternoon evening become a tropical storm. Barry continuing as a tropical storm through Friday morning and then by Saturday morning somewhere between Friday night and Saturday morning becoming a category one hurricane and working its way on into at least at this point areas west of New Orleans for a direct landfall. However, you cannot remember just look at the direct where it's going to be. This is going to be a widespread rain event for much of Louisiana in the parts of South Mississippi as well too. Still looking at the threat for potentially 6 to 12 inches of rain. A storm surge here likely as well. We'll start seeing maybe advisories issued. Tropical storm warnings could soon be issued. I haven't seen yet, but they'll probably be coming out here at 10 o'clock when the advisory goes into effect here. We could likely have tropical storm warnings in effect for South Louisiana, so do be prepared for that here uh, going forward. And hurricane warnings and watches up for our coastline, especially from Morgan City all the way back to about Sabine River, heading to potentially all the way into the Houston, Texas area as well too. So 
So again, this could easily change change uh, direction the way it looks, but notice that uh, they really I-55 westward all the way to about Houston, Columbus, uh, Columbus, Texas. That is where we are looking at that uh, cone right now of uncertainty, if you will. Uh, but we need to be, be prepared that even though it may not directly go over top of us, which is good news, the, the effects of it being on that wet side or they call it the dirty side of the storm. We are there, so all this rain will be heading up our way and we're talking about some very heavy rain potentially coming from this. This is yet to come. And what we have out there right now, a different story with the heavy downpours continue to work their way through the area this morning.